Hey subscribers and watchers, it's me Webs from Slidenote here. In this video, I'm going to help you set up Android Studio with Motion, and we're going to work out how to do that. Now Android Studio has a lot of issues and at the time of making this video, it's still in a beta release. So here I have the zip archive which I just downloaded from Google. I'm going to extract it by saying extract here. At the same time, I'm going to go to the command prompt, run it as an administrator, type Java here. As you can see, it gives me a lot of options. If I go further and if I type Java C, it's going to again give me a lot of options. And now if I again clear the screen and type Android here, even that works and it's giving me a lot of options. Now first step, before you install Android Studio, this is what you want to check. Whether you have set the path, the class path, the Java underscore home, the Android underscore home environmental variables on your system. I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to show you what they look like. You go to computer, right click, and you say properties here. I'm going to advanced system settings, environmental variables. And if you go here to path, if you click edit here, you will notice the JDK variable over there. And here is the Android variable added here inside path. So ADT Eclipse, that's the one. So click OK. And let's just get out of this window. Now at this time, that thing is extracted completely. I'm going to go inside this folder, which is Android Studio, go to bin. And since I'm using a 64-bit Windows, I'll select studio64.exe, click run here. And now it says import your settings from a previous version. No, this is being installed for the first time here. Now it's going to start up and it's going to give you the window where you can say new project. Now before you do this, Let's take a look at certain things here in Android Studio. Just click configure here, go to SDK manager. Are you able to access the SDK manager? And are you able to see all these things being installed? Now, depending on which version you are seeing in your SDK manager at the time of install, you need to have the build tools and the extras properly configured and installed for this. Other than that, it's completely optional about which versions of Android you are installing on your Android Studio. So just close this window, go to settings here. This will take you to the settings for Android Studio. Now there's a lot of settings here, but most of them that most of the things that we are going to need is about IDE settings. We go to appearance here. First thing I'm going to do is change the default font. It says override default fonts by not recommended, but I'll still do it. I'll just select it. And I'll select the font size as 14 and that will make things a bit bigger for me to see click OK as you can see the window just enlarged over there actually let's go back the font just became a bit bigger everywhere other than that there's the editor here you can go there go to appearance here colors and fonts you can make a new scheme here call it something like that you like click webs for me my case here and I'll just go here inside colors and fonts go to font here and select some font out of the list of available fonts which is getting loaded right here so in my case it's gonna be something like wait segoi ui looks segoi ui mono looks pretty good i'll select that select the size is 16 that looks pretty readable for me click apply and click ok actually wait a second let's go down and take a look at other things here all right there is nothing great for as of now just click ok here get back and then let's take a look at project defaults. Let's go there and see what's there here. Settings again. This is going to take you to template project settings. Again, things are pretty good by default here. So you don't have to change much over there. So click OK over there. Project structure. Let's take a look at what it says. There is the path for ADT and JDK. Now make sure that these two things are perfectly there on your Android Studio before you start. Click OK here. And then we'll go back by clicking this back button again back and then say new project so at this point I'll simply give it a name I'll call it the lawyer app simply go to the domain that is the package name I'll say slidenerd.webs here in my case and now it's gonna ask me the location of the project I'm gonna select a custom location in a different drive so I'll go to D drive and there's this folder called Android studio projects which is currently empty and I'm gonna select this folder click OK and it says your project location contains white space this can cause problems on some platforms and it's not recommended but i don't think that's going to be an issue on windows i'm going to click next at this point and then there are the devices that you want to target so there's phone and tablet in my case the minimum sdk it says is 
I'll probably take gingerbread a bit lower here, which is API 10 2.3.3, and then I'll click next here. And now you're presented with a screen where you want to select some. Now, this is where most of the problem happens in Android Studio. For example, if you take blank activity with fragment, or if you take full screen activity or navigation drawer, most of these activities, what Android Studio is going to do is try to import the support library v7 or v4 depending on what you have selected here and it's gonna have mostly a problem about jar mismatch in other words there are going to be two different versions of that library on your pc depending on the fact whether you're using eclipse or whether your sdk is updated or stuff like that and if that happens your android studio is not going to compile it's going to be full of gradle build errors so to avoid that i'm going to take add no activity here Okay, keep the current scheme and I'm going to click finish at this point. So at this point, Android Studio has started up and if you go to project here, you should see this folder app inside which you have your stuff. So the first thing that I want to do at this point is to install Motion. That's pretty simple. Go to file, go to settings here. IDE settings go at the bottom here to plugins and inside here if you go to browse repositories you should be able to search for Motion at the top and as you can see it pops up here I'll just click install plugin and it will say yeah click yes download the plugin and now it's gonna ask you mostly to restart your Android Studio IDE and as you can see at the top it says restart Android Studio I'm just gonna click on that button here and then it's going to say restart Android Studio to activate changes in plugins. I'll say restart. And now if you go back here, you should be able to see this Motion icon at the top. If you click on that, it's going to ask you to select the path where Genymotion is installed on your phone. So I'm going to simply select this icon here to click and select the folder. It's going to be C, Program Files, x86, I think. No, wait, it's under x64, so it's under C program files, Jenny Mobile, Jenny Motion. There's the folder. I'll click OK here and apply at the bottom, which I cannot see myself. Click OK again. And now, if I go here, click the Jenny Motion icon, I should be able to see all the devices out there that I want. Now, let's try to go here to our Java file folder here and try to create a blank activity or something like that. So let's select new here activity let's see a blank activity with a fragment perhaps so I'm gonna select that one and it's gonna ask me the name of different things I'm gonna select it as a launcher activity and then I'll simply click finish at this point I just want to see whether it's gonna import the support library or it's gonna just create it from scratch so going back to main activities code it says action bar activity and at this point you come into your first error in Android Studio where it says cannot resolve symbol blah blah blah. Now this can be fixed by specifying in your Gradle build file. If you go here to Gradle scripts there's your build.gradle file. Let's just check that. So the second one which is build.gradle for app is the one where we have to specify dependencies as you can see there's this declaration called dependencies within which there is compile and inside this you're supposed to specify your app compact v7 with the current version which is 21 in my case 0 .0, 0.0 as your dependency for including app compact v7 if you're getting this error make sure that you go to build out gradle and you check this out now gradle is basically a mechanism for building your project now we will be talking about gradle in a lot more detail it's more like an automatic builder it's gonna look at all your libraries it's gonna look at all the settings that you have like ProGuard and your manifest files and it's gonna try to kind of put everything together to give you a working version of your project and that's what a build automation system basically is and if you don't know about this I'll be talking about Gradle build in a separate video series because there's a lot of things to be discussed when it comes to Gradle as well since it uses groovy language syntax and stuff like that. Let's just try to run this but before that I need to start my emulator. So going to Jenny Motion here at the top. I'm going to select Viv's device which I have already created inside Jenny Motion. If you haven't done so you can just go to your start menu say Jenny Motion here or Jenny Motion shell. No wait. 
it's not a shell it's a gen emotion which we want to start so go here gen emotion and you should be able to see this place where you can add a device by choosing your version and stuff like that i already have a lot of devices added because of which i'm not starting so i'm going to select this device and click start here at the same time close the command prompt on the other side so now that my emulator is almost about to get launched i'll select the project at the top here and i'm going to simply click run over there let's close this window first select the project here at the top click run and now it's going to ask me to choose a device i will simply say use the same device and click ok and there is my project running on android studio now if you were doing this otherwise and running into a r cannot be resolved symbol or build out gradle failed exception or something like that then try not to create the project from scratch because at this point android studio exhibits some kind of issues when you're trying to create a project using one of its defined templates by mixing up the jar files and stuff like that rather you can start with a blank project and then go and create the files inside uh, this is how things are working for me so hopefully you guys have understood something about how android studio can be set up i'll catch you guys in the next video with more android videos in the meantime if you like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice